Bell Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Good morning, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Daily Briefing for Friday the 24th of the 9th, 2021. Time is just coming up to 0440 GMT. Asian session coming to a close. European session firing up. Our lunchtime North American session. Right, yesterday then, the 23rd, Thursday, we had a negative opposed driver in the yen at minus 363. Front and back door flows, mainly going into the pound at plus 310, into the euro at plus 151, and the dollar was a negative rock at minus 98. Activity plus or minus 461. Intra week then, most relevant because this is from Monday the 20th open to about 15 minutes ago. We've got a negative unopposed driver in the yen at minus 109. Uh, no backdoor flows, the opposing positive flows going mainly into the euro at plus 64, into the pound at plus 39, and the dollar is the positive rock at plus 2, activity plus or minus 109. Now, uh, so yesterday then we had this big uh, drop off in the dollar, relatively speaking, uh, but the main, the main action was, uh, it was, was yen weakness off the back of um, uh, risk on uh, equity transmission, and, and the, the reverse pump was into the pound, at plus 310. Over the week we've seen this reversal because we had running in early week we had uh, yen strength uh, and, uh, and, uh, and dollar strength and now we, uh, we've got this sort of swing out of the yen uh, and out of the dollar and into the euro and the pound. Right so intraday then. Uh, Asian session to about 15 minutes ago. Again we've got this unopposed negative driver in the yen at minus 17. No backdoor flows, the opposing positive flows, mainly going into the pound plus seven, euro plus six, and the dollar is the uh, uh, positive rocket plus four, activity plus or minus 17. Right, we'll stop it there and write up the flows. Right, we've written up the flows then, so uh, euro is strong across the board, yen is weak except against the CAD in New Zealand, pound is strong except against the euro, Swiss is weak except against the CAD, CAD is weak across the board, AUD is strong except against the euro, NZD is weak except against the CAD and Swiss, and the dollar is strong except against the euro, the pound and the AUD. Right, so what have we got? We've got euro strength across the board, uh, and CAD weakness and take your pick in the middle. What's going to knock it about today? Well, it's a light day today. Today we've got tier two events in Germany. We've got business uh, climate and uh, expectations and uh, a few minor speeches knocking about. So uh, that's basically where we are. We'll stop it there and write up the uh, the asset classes. Right, we've written up the asset classes then. So US dollar index, basically massive pump up earlier. Then it's come back. It's a 0.31 from the high. So the dollar's weakened. Uh, it's about uh, nearly a third off the uh, model high. Gold should like that in theory, it's, uh, but it's only 0.33 off the floor. It's a third off the floor. Gold's very soft. Uh, oil, 0.24 from the high, so relatively strong. Wall Street, S&P and the tech. Uh, big thump down in equities generally uh, earlier in the week, and last, starting Friday uh, last week. Uh, and a recovery, 0.33 from the high, uh, Wall Street. S&P 0.33 from the high and the tech is 0.25 from the high so uh, uh, about a third to a quarter uh, off, the, off the highs. Uh, US tenure and uh, the bond, U uh, European equivalent, we've got a big drop off in price um, uh, so uh, this is the uh, uh, price of the bond as we said so you've got, you've, got a res you've got very strong yields on both the US tenure and the bond so uh, so you've got strong yields uh, on both of those, pretty matched. Uh, and copper has got back to half marks, having been uh, pasted off. And US steel is very weak, it's right on the floor. So uh, we'll just get rid of that and do the uh, final analysis. Um, so uh, yesterday we had uh, sort of a, a basically uh, a, a full swing in, uh, in flows. You had uh, yen weakness, uh, dollar strength, etc so let's just uh, look at the what's going on then so uh, you've got the dollar uh, the euro the yen and the pound we've we've had that rates decision uh, we've had the yen rates decision a while ago and we've had the fed rates decision uh, so we've had those um, 
the Fed sort of more or less uh, said they're going to taper uh, at some stage. Um, and uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at yesterday's flows, you've got um, as I say, we've got the yen uh, negatively driving off the back of this this relief rally in equities, um, and then you've got you've got the the bulk of those uh, posing positive flows going into the pound. And the dollar was uh, was was starting to weaken, uh, and uh, and uh, and over the week uh, we've still got this yen uh, unopposed negative driver. So there's been a big swing, pretty much a reversal in um, in in the yen from the, from its uh, from its highs, because uh, the yen's now minus one oh nine on the week, which is more or less at base camp. And uh, the the Asian session uh, is showing uh, still yen weakness, unopposed negative driver. Uh, pound strength, but it's pretty much euro strength, and the dollar is uh, plus four uh, positive rock. So the likelihood is, and given the uh, the uh, U.S. ten-year and the bond, uh, the likelihood is is uh, and the equities are, are still uh, relatively recovering. The likelihood is we're going to see some dollar strength. We're going to see uh, so um, uh, basically the dollar has done that. And the likelihood is, is we're going to see uh, some dollar strength now coming back in. Uh, so, so we think the dollar is going to strengthen up today. Uh, the euro, uh, uh, by extension, should, should weaken. The pound is likely to weaken. Um, the pound is likely to weaken. And uh, the yen will be neutral to uh, increasing off the back of. We think equities may well uh, slow up and go sideways at the best. Uh, so uh, that's, that's where we are. We think we're going to get a bounce in the dollar uh, uh, an extent by extension of fall in the euro complex, uh, neutral to a rise in the yen off the back of uh, stalling equities and uh, and probably a shine coming off the pound uh, which has been ramping pretty hard so uh, that's where we are uh, thanks for watching watch out tomorrow for the uh, uh, weekly review the data review the uh, uh, data cycle uh, review as we said and uh, the asset classes uh, and then uh, if not we'll see you monday for the uh, daily briefing so goodbye